Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETLQL Labs. In this session, we will uh, look at two SQL questions basically and uh, we will try to solve them. And uh, I think uh, I personally thought these questions are a little bit, uh, you know, um, I think uh, good questions. Yeah. So that's the reason I thought I will cover this. And uh, so this I have taken it from uh, my YouTube channel, right? So I have received uh, these two questions here. Yeah? So guys, let's start then and try to understand what these questions are. Uh, little tricky, but then I think uh, uh, I would not say it is complex, but I, I will say little bit of uh, tricky uh, question. Yeah. So let's try to understand first one, guys. Yeah. So first one says that how to fetch last withdrawn salary for each employees and who had left the organization should also be included, which means we would like to have the employee ID or employee name maybe and then also the last withdrawn salary from the salary table. Okay. This is what this question means basically. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's go back to. Uh, so after that we will solve this. So first let's try to go uh, try to see the table structure first. I've created a little table. Okay. So that we do not waste the time here. Okay. So this is the table that I have created. Okay. So this table basically gives you employee number, uh, salary and salary date, right? So when the salary got credited, yeah. So based on this salary date only, we will uh, ensure that what is the last, you know, uh, uh, what is the last salary that the employee have received it, right? So for example, employee number one for December, 1st December, he got the salary uh, of 2000, okay? So $2,000, let's say. And uh, here employee number one, again in November, he got $2,000 uh, and then October 1st, $2,000, $3,000 on January and February. He got some salary, right? So here you see that, right? For each of the months, right? So what our intention should be, intention should be which one is the highest date, which means that is the last salary, right? That the employee received it, right? So I would like to know the employee number and the uh, the maximum means uh, sorry employee number and the salary the last salary in this case uh, okay let me do one thing let me try to order it so that we can clearly see this order by i will say employee number and then i will say salary date okay and i will say uh, descending guys okay so the highest will come on top right Okay, so for employee number one, we have these many salaries, okay? October, November, December, January, February. So first, uh, this this 3,400 is the, you know, the last salary that employee has drawn. So this is what the question is basically, right? So pay the last withdrawn salary for each of the employee. Uh, so each of the employees. So for one, Employee number one, I should be getting this salary. For employee number two, I should be getting uh, this salary, 3,400. And for three, I should be getting this one because you see the dates are al already, uh, you know, uh, uh, in descending order, right? Which means the highest date is on top, right? For each of this. So let's try to see how do we solve it, right? So uh, what we have to do is, first of all, we have to find, the logic is we have to find, um, yeah, we have to find the salary, okay, to find the salary, uh, okay, okay, so one second, we have to find this particular salary right which means we have to find the maximum of this salary date for each of the employee right so how do i find it first okay this will be inner query but let's try to see that okay so i will say employee number okay and maximum so based on for each of the employee i want to find out the maximum salary date okay from mp and p salary okay I will say group by group by employee EMP okay in e number right all right let's see guys what it is giving so what it is giving is it is giving the maximum salary date which means we want the latest one right so we want the 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 last 
withdrawn salary so this is the latest right so for employee number one this is the february first employee number two we have got first october and first september for employee number three right so this is how it is actually if you can see here also because i have ordered it for the sake of looking at it right and for two i have got first october right so this looks to be correct okay now what we need is we need uh now uh, we need the employee number and salary okay for each of this employee and the salary should be uh, sorry the salary date should be this employee number should be this and salary date should be this right so this is how we have to find so let me find so employee so i what i will do is let me use this yeah i want to use it in a sub query guys okay in sub query i will put employee number so what i need is select employee number and uh, what i need salary right okay salary from emp salary okay where this is tricky guys so i am using two columns here employee number and uh, what that salary date there are two columns that i am using here in where clause here so we have to use like bracket okay and why i am using this two because i am actually uh, the, this inner query is returning two uh, you know columns basically so this is the employee number and maximum salary which means salary right a uh, salary date right so maximum salary date so i am getting two columns here that's why i have to use in where clause also two so that it can match right now if we try this i think it will give you yes perfect so this is how we have to find out so let's match it 3400 3000 uh, 2004 okay similar way guys if somebody is asking the same question okay somebody is asking can you find out the first salary for each of the employee so what i can do is i can just instead of maximum i will say just minimum minimum means the very initial salary date when he got it right simply you see guys this is the for employee number 1 let's verify quickly yeah for employee number 1 okay for employee number 1 i have got uh, what is that 3400 so is it correct one second guys something is wrong no not yeah this is the one 2000 right 2000 so this is 2000 you see here that is october 20 after this every date is greater than october 20 right here so that's the reason this is the one and for two let's see this is january 1st right march october and all uh, those are in uh, more than that so 6 uh, 6600 correct yeah so this is how you can get it guys yeah so this salary thing uh, so the concept here is important concept to remember is when we have to use more than two columns we have to use it like this and then um, This, these are normal basically right we group by another things right so hope you are able to understand this okay now what i will do is i will try to go to second question and solve it so how to fetch first name and last name separately and store in a column got it so guys what question what i understood here is basically there is a there is a table which is having first name and last name okay and then what we would like to do is we would like to concatenate these two together and then store in a separate column let's say full name right so what we have to do is in this case we have to let let me go to table first okay so select star from i have created one more table name table okay i'll show you so here is employee number first name and last name guys what i have to do is these are the first and last name but uh, i want to store in a the first name and last name i want to concatenate together and then i want to store into a third column i mean the full name column let's say so what i have to do first of all i have to alter okay so alter table emp name i have to add one column guys okay so i'll say name add name uh, full name right full name column will be added where care okay work second let's i'll take the 40 all right now if i show you 
full name column is added now okay we have added it now what we will do is we will uh, take the first name and uh, what i will do is i will use the comma right first name comma last name something like that i will store in this column this full name uh, uh, you know field right right now there is no value into this right what i have to do is i have to put one update statement because this is already existing value we have to update this particular column only right so we have to use the update statement so update what is that emp name set what i have to set basically full name right and what i have to set guys okay i have to use here basically maybe e1 okay because i have to use subquery as well here okay all right set okay i'll put it e1 okay all right now i have to say select hmm, first name first name okay first name and uh, this is the uh, what is this guy this is concatenator operator okay i will use okay so what is this first name and uh, this is uh, concatenator op operator which means this will basically concatenate first name and last name and and it will be separated by comma that's why i have used this in quote right so it will be comma uh, and then last name so guys i will show you what it is going to return also later okay now uh, from emp underscore name i will put this name as e2 guys okay and i have to put one very important condition here what basically where e1 dot e number equal to e2 dot e number okay which means basically for each of each of this uh, output right so what will happen is basically it will take let's say one akash right so one akash akash verma it will come uh, here akash comma verma right this will be selected and it will ensure that it is basically updating against this employee number one only so that is why i have used this this is called, called correlated query guys yeah correlated query means outer query will be executed uh, yeah so this outer query will uh, it, it's not like that the output of the inner query will be the input for out uh, you know um, uh, for the outer query so this is inner query right because this is inside this is inner query but here since i have used e1 reference which means this will be also executed so this uh, this is called correlated query it is not like that the uh, output of this particular complete query will be you know will be the input of this particular uh, statement right no it will be correlated which means it will be simultaneously executed okay reference will be taken from e1 in this table and based on that there will be matching employee number if both are matching then only it will be added okay let's try to update it so it says the three row updated let's try to see whether it updated correctly or not yes guys see first name ali asgar akash verma ambar pratap right so this is full name so this is what before that it was null right so this is how you have to use it guys okay so this is uh, you you might uh, maybe i might uh, create may uh, do one video maybe related to correlated query and subquery and nested query etc but yeah for now you understand that you know this correlated query is this is the example of correlated query if somebody is asking an interview you can just tell them we can use the correlated query and uh, we can pass the reference from the outer query and in the inner query we can equate this to and then we can have this updated right now guys let me show you what i wanted to show you what is the output of this particular query right so this exactly this right okay let me run it and show you one second last name first name okay sorry 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 i didn't use here select right so i have to use select statement now see so this is what the output okay let me show you clearly okay i will say here as full name okay i'll put so that it is clearly visible yeah so under full name it is coming as aliaskar akash so this is how it is basically the first name 
and for comma you have to put uh, two quotes and then comma and then these are the two uh, you know uh, pipe operators right which are nothing but they are basically concatenation operator which will join okay one to other field yeah this is how it works okay if you are not if you want to put a space you can put a space here okay something like that see if you don't want to put anything guys that is also perfectly all right okay but yeah only one time we have to use it see it's coming together right ali asgar you cannot differentiate it that's why we have to use all this separators right so yeah that's all guys uh, for this video and i hope that i was able to you know uh, clarify your questions and doubt and uh, yeah one more thing if you are really finding these questions little hard for you uh, don't worry uh, i think uh, try to you know watch one or two times i think you will be clear uh, and also what i will suggest is every concept whatever i am discussing here it is based on the previous videos basically which i have created a place playlist sql playlist for beginners right please go and watch from video number 1 i think you will be very much clear about it okay all this concept okay these are very basic things but only thing is if you know basic then only you can you know attempt for uh, you know this kind of questions okay i i know that this these questions are not really very easy also for some people some of you but then again i think you have to uh, for your practice you have to you know do it from base beginning beginning okay i have nicely covered you know ddl dml dql dcl dk yeah, all those kind of you know um, uh, commands i have already covered it i think that will be helpful for you to grow okay guys so that's all for this video and uh, thank you thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you soon with the next video until then happy learning uh, god bless you bye